Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and this one's on Tohardika, Winua, and Okama from 2005, of course. So, I'm going to run the manual entry I have for Winua here. You see the large Bonacle logo, Tohardika, Winua, little iconic thing there, and picture of Winua uh, just uh, jackhammering through the through the ground or through the earth there is, and in Onumetru with the Visnarak webs there, and the Lego logo, and uh, set number 8738. And front page of it is a little storyline synopsis of the, with the pictures, of course. And on the back is a little advertisement of the three Titan sets from the year prior, and Bonacle 2, what a uh, movie that there is. And, and had win on the online survey and advertisement of all the Rahaga, of which last last throwback Thursday. Advertisement of all the Vaki sets the, from the year prior. Advertisement of the Tohredika sets. You see for Vakama and Matau, I have previously reviewed for throwback Thursdays and also Oniwa and Nuju, of which next next throwback Thursday. Look forward to that. Then how to launch the Rotuka spinner and out of Kanoka Club. That was and then a little bit left of the combination model that there was. And then how to put Winua back in the canister. And then the last building steps for him. So now, uh, starting out with Toma Hordika Wendua, of course. And of course, like most of the other years, which same words, were all the sets same build, but just different colors, different mask, different weapon, of course. But in this, for him, of which mostly black, in black for the earth field, and of course the weapons, and also the headpiece. So starting out with these. For the legs is have the like foot pieces which all the Tohardika sets have, but also were reused about or ones in the uh, Baraki and Glatorian line, of course. And of course, uh, interestingly, how they were built up and all. And then as for the legs or the thigh pieces, which only sets that ever used these pieces for the legs, of course. Well, until Makuta Chirox in 2008, Fantoka, and uh, Vastus in 2009, Glatorian Legends, for that. Only two sets to reuse the, this piece, of course. And of course, as all the Hordika, silver armor pieces instead of the main colors for that, like the Toometru counterparts did. And then as for the torso piece, a uh, chest plate that was reused on Matoran in the uh, 2007 Mari Nui line, of course. But if you take that on. Oh, whoops. And have kind of a little bit of a hollow space going off of that. And of course with the kind of hunched uh, torso piece here with some, with a couple spots for the for axle rods and such. For that. Okay, get that on. And as for the arms here is well, one of them is just a Toamata limb piece but in the main color and also a spot for the weapons. Well, in this case for Wendula's a witch, which are these jackhammer weapons that kind of flex and not to get that kind of action for that. But although there's a feature where you can like turn these at certain points and they're supposed to stop it for that. Yeah, like that. So at least kind of workable for stop motions and stuff. That been interestingly with the uh for the Web of Shows movie is that they was done have. A second one of the weapons, but instead it's like a couple extra pieces that extend out with a hand piece onto their, like their 
holding a pseudo hand or whatever. I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. And as for the other armor, which which is like very couple of technic pieces, but however, this piece was reused like once or twice a couple of years after for that. Um, we could Icarax in the Fantoka line, but however, if you turn this and it makes it swish up and down, and that, of course. And of course, another one of the jackhammer pieces is. And as for the headpiece, which kind of extended a bit like that. But as for Windua's in particular, which kind of a little extra thick and blocky for that. But, and of course, and like all of which, using the Borok eye pieces is for the eyes and also these little pieces, this ball joint piece, which did get used on a lot of sets after. And as for the back side of which is of which is where this little bit in the yellow piece of which is for the Rutuka spinners is. So if you put that on there. And take this in and flies right off, of course. And of course, quite crazy how all the sets had that. And that's about it for what do we here. And now on to no comma, of course. And of course, obviously, same build as all the Tohordika sets, but in dark blue. And of course, different weapon and headpiece for that. But the interesting thing is that the feet of which, same as all the other Tohordika, but in the Web of Shadows movie, they were like quite small and blue and kind of high heel ish for that. Not sure why they didn't make that as a piece just for this set, but maybe that would be a little, maybe that would cost a bit more and also make her a little extra top heavy for that. And as for her weapons here, which are supposed to be like large hammers or something, but and of course have a rubbery feel to them. And of course have a few uh, Technic pinhole kind of parts. And of course nice to use for mocking, obviously. And then further upwards is just for the head piece. It's kind of interesting built for that and has the uh, orange Borok eyes. And of course orange like the other Doametru water uh, characters do have. And also has these little ridges on them, sort of like Vakamas. Sort of like that, of course. And back side of which, same exact uh, Rituka spinner feature and same arm feature as the rest do. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall I think these of which are quite good sets for the time. For the time and now. So, since of course these of which were good parts packs of like black and dark blue and and of course do have and of course, both Nokama and Windua do have some specific headpiece and uh, weapons great to use for mocking and so on. That and of course, there's a plenty of good, and of course, still quite good value for back in the day. And also, and of course, good to have. These and of course, as for the uh, leg pieces in dark blue, still nice to get for mocking, of course, and uh, and of course in Winua, the probably the only uh, one in which that had an actual feature to that, being able to uh, push it up and down, unlike the others, which are just left as is, of course. There's then yeah. 
And now, if any of you, you still have these uh, two sets of which, when I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't yet and are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.